Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about a problem that a lot of people have been having is uh, lack of Wi-Fi in Windows 10 after the upgrade and it's due you know what to a number of problems and hopefully something in this video will help you if it doesn't uh, well it could be a little more complex but here are the basics of what you should do if you have no Wi-Fi. Now a lot of people have been saying I click on the Wi-Fi icon it says Wi-Fi is off or when I look at um, you know the uh, action center um, the part where it says Wi-Fi doesn't have anything I see Bluetooth I don't see Wi-Fi that means there's something wrong with the Wi-Fi driver probably. First thing you should do is take a look at your computer, whatever brand it is. Um, a Toshiba, a Dell, an Acer, an HP, a Lenovo, um, a Sony Vaio, whatever brand it is, the first thing you should do, go on the internet. And you know what? Search for your model number. So you could say, okay, HP DV2000. And look at the results for HP DV2000 what it brings you and especially look at Wi-Fi drivers and look at what it brings you and it says here okay for example here HP Pavilion DV2000 notebook PC drivers and so on you know what go to whatever website uh, Toshiba uh, A200 Wi-Fi drivers whatever model you know what that model number is written on a sticker somewhere on your computer it could be on the underside of your laptop it could be on the bottom of the screen on the top of the keyboard um, wherever it is look at that and search for Windows 8 drivers specifically Windows 8 drivers um, I would say 95 percent of the time Windows 8 drivers work in Windows 10 so you can go to the website of the manufacturer of your computer and search for the specific Wi-Fi driver for your computer. Uh, I think that is probably one of the first things you should do. Now, I had a Wi-Fi problem on one of my computers and the Wi-Fi problem was not from um, the fact that the driver was not there, but it just couldn't connect. And a lot of you have been saying, well, Wi-Fi is there, I just can't connect to my network. And so this is probably like a, a number two problem with the Wi-Fi. So what you could do is simply go and type Wi-Fi in the search on the bottom right and go into change Wi-Fi settings at the top. There, here you will see all the Wi-Fi networks. You'll see Wi-Fi is on you'll see the different networks that you are available in your area. Um, go into manage Wi-Fi settings and here you will see your network that is in a list. So there's probably a big list of all the networks you plugged in. These are lists. This is, this is a big list. This is a list of all the networks I've ever connected on my computer. So what you should do is remove all the known networks from this list. So when you click one, you'll see that you can forget this network. So do this. It's one of the first things that you need to do. Remove all the networks. Remove everything that is not um, correct. For example, this is the one I have right now. You can click forget. What it's going to do is going to remove the network from your list and your Wi-Fi won't be connected automatically to this list. So remove everything in that list. That's the first thing you should do. Then you click on your Wi-Fi icon and click on your network, connect to your network and re-enter the password that you use for your Wi-Fi network that should 
usually work. So, you know what? Check your drivers. Uh, check for this type of problem. And a third thing that you can do. Go to the bottom left. Type device manager. Go and click device manager control panel. What you can do is go into the network adapters. You will see something that's called wireless LAN, some number or some model of card. Right click on this and click uninstall. You'll see that it's going to disappear from the list. What you could do then is go into action. In the action, you can click scan for hardware changes. What you'll see is that that driver you uninstalled will reappear because the computer is going to see that it's missing a driver. It's going to reinstall it. After you did that, go back to the Wi-Fi and click on your network. Hopefully, that will fix your problem. So, check Wi-Fi drivers on the website of your manufacturer. Um, delete all the Wi-Fi networks in the manage Wi-Fi networks and uninstall and reinstall the network adapter. These, I would say that these three tips that I've just shown you will probably fix 90% of all Wi-Fi problems in uh, computers that aren't connected to the web via Wi-Fi. So I hope one of these three tips helped you connect back to the web via your Wi-Fi. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please feel free to ask. Um, if you have a video you'd like me to do about something, please ask. And hopefully you enjoy my videos and welcome back. Thank you for watching.